Dude, I want to jump off. I feel like I have an elytra, but it's sad, bro. We need it. We need it. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of my multiplayer 100 day series. If you haven't already, go check out the first video, which I'll link in the description below, or else this video will not make sense. I would also just like to note that as I'm recording this, 1.19 is just released, and I'm currently playing on a realm, which means I have to be on the latest release of Minecraft. And since Optifine for 1.19 isn't out yet, we're not going to be seeing any shaders for this episode, and hopefully they can release it soon. Now that's enough of the intro, let's just jump straight into episode 2. So on day 26, I gathered a bunch of blocks that I had on me and I started heading into the nether to find out where this nether fortress was that Prav was talking about. If you remember on day like 24 or 25, I kind of forgot already because I recorded that like 3 days ago, Providentia found another fortress literally blocks away from our portal. All I had to do was pretty much just turn right from my portal spawn and I found it, it was super simple. We actually got super lucky that it's right next to us because now we don't have to travel tons of blocks to gather blazes and all that stuff. Now let's get started on farming some blazes. I need to get my shield out. Wait, I I dropped my I remember I dropped my shield like 10 days ago, but I completely forgot to make a new one. Well, that sucks. We're just let's let's hope I don't die. A few moments later. Nope, okay, I can't fight these kids. I'm out. I need to get a shield, bro. And I came back with a shield ready and equipped, and I just started farming some blazes here. I pretty much spent the whole day here because I wanted to get at least like 8 blaze rods before I left. I also burned through a ton of food because I kept on getting hurt with all the flames and stuff. So I went back up to the overworld and I sorted out like a really small, really short storage area right outside of our house. I'll sort it out later. And this time I entered the fortress with the goal of just finding some chests and looting it. But after a long time of exploring, I was not able to find any rooms or any sort of stuff like that where I could find loot. So it was kind of a waste of my time to be honest. I didn't even know these things could spawn without chests. So um, basically, we got a bunch of cows here and we're thinking of making a cow pen for them that just looks nicer so we can harvest them in a better way. We're gonna use spruce wood for this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grow these spruce trees. And for this new cow barn slash slaughterhouse kind of place, I decided to put it kind of near where it originally was, just a little bit behind our house, and I was gonna clear out this kind of mound of dirt that was in the way. Spider, I got you. Oh, uh, they fight each other, babe. Box, 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 box. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I just got a skeleton. Get jumped by three zombies, bro. Whoa, Davis over here got tons of spruce saplings, bro. Man went out and got a bunch of different trees and just brought back a bunch of goodies for us. Now we're gonna pretty much have infinite wood for life. Oh, so we gotta go to bed, man. These, uh, I forgot what these things are called, but they're coming after us now. Yo, we got Davis dueling an Enderman over here, bro. Who's gonna win? And yeah, in that fight, his sword and his shield broke and he was at half a heart. So that was a very close one, dude. Holy. And I pretty much just continued building into that day, experimenting with different designs and just trying to figure out what would look kind of good here. And we also had a solid little berry bush farm that Davis kind of started and some huge trees. So things were looking pretty good. Also, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do this roof. I kind of want to make it out of slabs and make it slant and make it tip kind of in the middle. I'm not sure. It's going to be difficult. I'm never good with these slab type roofs. Hey, uh, do you guys want to go exploring or something? Uh, yeah. In a little bit, in a little bit. I in was going to plan on building the house next, but you know, I feel like I'm, I, I, don't, I don't really want to build anything right now, to be honest. We gotta, we, let's go find some cool stuff. Wait, yo, pause. Let me get my, uh, my pickaxe enchanted real quick. I need to get some more levels. Alright, also, uh, stuck up on some food. I guess, let's kill some of the cows. No, jumping on it is the, it, it takes a little bit longer. You just right click it like a minecart. No, that, was, that, that, come on, bro. It's, bro. Dude, it's not, I'm not getting on it though. He's just jumping. <laughs> it's not that deep, bro. It's not that deep, trust. Should I put the saddle on first? No, no, first? you put the saddle on after you tame it, right? Yeah, after you tame bro, it. Why didn't they let me get on, bro? Dude, they get just don't like apple, you, bro. bro. They just let me ride the bus, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, it's easier to get an apple, bro. Nah, this is gonna be perfect though, because last time me and Revel went out and explored, we just walked, and with horses, it's gonna be like 10 times better. Wait, can we bring horses onto the boat or no? No, we can't. But... Onto a boat. Bro, we could be like the Spanish, bro. All right, let, let's head up. Let's head off in this direction. Let's just start going, and then. Oh wait, actually, we should probably get the cords of our house. Yo, Prav, are you coming, bro? Where y'all? I'm, I'm, where y'all at? This we man was. Oh, okay, we gotta go back for him now. Come on. Wait, pause. I'm chilling, bro. I am vibing bro, with my dog. Pause way too much, man. Bruh. Oh shoot, the skeleton just shot my horse. Oh god, this is bad. 
Yeah, during that night, my horse actually ended up dying, so I had to go get a new one real quick. It was pretty easy, though. Dude, what is this mangrove propagool thing, dude? I might have to cop one. I have 13 emeralds on me, so I can get one. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Should I place go on, it? Go on, go on. Yeah, place it. Yeah, place it. Right. Dude, it's like a decorative, like, flower kind of thing. Okay, good. We can break it back. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, is that is that the 1.19 thing? Probably is. Hey, one tap. You are never getting this back, bro. This is no, gone. Oh, my five hard-earned emeralds, bro. This is so sad. Yo, I gotta get my horse back here, dude. This kid's running away from me, man. Wait, what's in here? Let's look at it, bro. Yeah, it looks crazy. A new biome. We we could probably find like the new underground biome in there, and then we can leave him in here for now, I guess. This is not humane in any way, but you know what? It's Minecraft. It'll work. Yo, get your big horses out of here, bro. Ooh, yo. yo, your horses are massive, bro. Get them out of here. <laughs> Our horses are the same me. size. What are you <laughs> talking about, bro? You gotta make it bigger than this, dude. Our horses are not gonna fit in here. Make it a uh, three by three. Get get out, get out. Make your own. Hey! Whoa, 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 Davis. Oh, Chill. Geez. Yeah, we pretty much just decided to take a little break and just go mining in the caves together as like a group for a bit. All right, so uh, yeah, we got a we found a mine trap down here, which is pretty nice, but no new bomb yet. So I guess we should keep on looking. Wait, are there no chests around here, bro? I can't I can't see any mine trap. Yo, chests. Bro, guys, come down here, bro. Doesn't this look man-made, bro? It's like huge. Wait, cavern. what? Wait, this is weird. No, like it's actually a square. So it's <laughs> That's kinda... whack. Davis. Ooh. I gotta like treat him like a... I gotta treat him like a child, bro. Gotta be. Yeah, guys, I actually don't treat your loved ones like that, bro. But like, I don't, I don't care about it. Bruh. I found a spider spawner. Good, good, good. Oh, I see. Wait, this is kind of cool. I see chain. Wait, oh, is this a new oh, place? It's, it's, it's a poisonous one. Ah, ah, yeah, ah. Yo, come here, come here, come here. You guys want to go for a swim, bro? I found a pool. Oh, I see, I see. Whoa, wait, this is actually sick. Oh, that's actually crazy. Wait, this goes go, down go. deep, dude. Holy. Yeah, oh, there's diamonds! Look. There's diamonds! Wait, these are gonna be my first diamonds, bro. Water? Hey, I, these are- I gotta get these, bro. Oh, I don't- I don't- I can't- I can't, I can't, bro. It's underwater, dude. It's gonna be hard to get. I got them, I got them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Efficiency, efficiency. No way, man. No way. And Providentia, out of the kindness of his heart, decided to give me a couple of diamonds so I can make a diamond pickaxe. What a nice guy. Yo, guys! We just found some glow squids. <laughs> Let's go kill them. What is that, dude? Please don't do that ever again. <laughs> don't do that ever again. Bro. <laughs> I'll never do that again. I promise. Please keep that in. Please, please, <laughs> brother. People need to hear that. Alright, let's get some glow ink sacks, though, for real. And with the morning of day 33 quickly approaching, we finally got back up to our horses, and we were probably just gonna start heading home. Cause honestly, there's not much out here that's too interesting for us. Looks like we found one of these uh, flower hills or whatever they're called. Uh, I'm gonna harvest a bunch of these flowers because they're good for decoration. Oh, he mad. Providential, 1v2. Oh, he gets one. Hey, why is he coming for me? Yo, why is he going for me? What, what is he doing? I think you have to use like some sort of tool. I forgot exactly what it was to like harvest honey out of those things. Whoa, what just, dude, there's a bunch of mobs that are following us in the water and Providential's horse looks like he's not having a fun time right here. Hopefully he makes it out okay. I think he should be okay. And just a few seconds later, Davis gets blown up by a creeper right next to his horse. Things are not going well, man. Good thing we're like kind of close to our house. We're only like a couple hundred blocks away, I think. And when we finally arrived home on day 34, I continued working on our house. Just finishing up the roof because this thing has been on a hold since I don't know when I started this. Like day like 11 or something like that. I think I'm just going to continue building while Prov has been focusing a lot on enchantments these past couple of days. Alright, so I managed to finish the roof on that one section of the house, but I feel like this like walkway is really small, so I think I might just end up expanding the entire house like to the right, and just make it more thicker and wider, because I realized how small this house was. I really wish I could use replay mode to show you guys how I built this thing, but since we're on the newest version of Minecraft, there is no supported OptiFabric version yet, it just kind of sucks. And finally, I finished laying out the extension, and it kind of just looked like this. I should probably change this pillar right here, it kind of looks a bit ugly, but it's pretty basic, and we could put the chest storage area on the outside of the house. And on day 35, I decided to go get some wood because I wanted to start trading with villagers again because if we want to get a step closer to defeating the end dragon, we need to get geared up first. So I spent a large part of the day just cutting down some of these big spruce trees, and then I traveled all the way over to the village to trade with that one Fletcher guy. I think tonight we might focus on trying to get a zombie villager to spawn somewhere near our house and trap him so we don't have to walk super far every single time we want to trade. Once I arrived there, the sun was setting and I woke up this guy right out of his bed demanding to trade with him. We gonna make some good money from you today. I don't know what you're gonna do with all these sticks honestly, but I guess I shouldn't ask. Thank you. 
So during this night, I think we're gonna go and try and track down one of those zombie villagers around here. I've seen a couple of them in our early days, and we are in hard difficulty, so they shouldn't be that rare to find. Let's see how this goes. Guys, I found a zombie villager. No, I didn't. Oh, he was by the sugarcane area. I'm gonna trap him in like a 2x2 two two down here. Right, I gotta get this dude inside this hole somehow, bro. And then we gotta cover him up so it doesn't burn in the day, you know? Wait, actually, I have an idea. I'll drop in, and then he follows me, and then I'll just go like this. That's not working. That's not oh. working. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, we're good. Oh. We're good. We're good. Alright, that's fine. And then we just gotta yeah, cover up his head. I have nine blaze rods that I got from the nether adventure I did on like day like 26 or something. So I'll just grab those. We can make a ruin stand, and then yeah, we can get all that stuff set up. So once day came, I gathered the materials for our fermented spider eye and then just put this brewing stand in this really cool area over here. I think it makes a really sick mini brewing setup. And oh shoot, I kind of forgot the water bottle. I just gotta grab that. And now we got some potions of weakness, but the only thing we're missing right now is some gunpowder. So I also gotta go to grab that. Kids, remember to grab all of your materials before making potions. Anyways, now once I put this in, it should be able to make some splash potions and then we can go cure that villager. All right, so I'm just gonna cure this kid real quick. Got the splash potion of weakness. And then put the golden apple on him. And now we gotta wait like five ish minutes and then we should be good to go. Uh, what's going on here, Davis? Uh, it's, it just happened, bro. That's crazy. What just happened? Wait, wait, wait what happened? Uh, something concerning your, your, your pets. Uh, I think that might be very sick. Yo! No, 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 <laughs> no, no, Davis, I'm telling you. On, it's on site, it's on site, it's on site. I think we can leave it like that, Davis. They can, yeah, they can yeah, that's good. That's Wait, good. they're right here. They're right here. What you mean they see now? They, they look fine. I got three right here. They're they're right on me, bro. Where are you? What? You been attacking three innocent dogs, bro? <laughs> you attacking three random Davis, dogs? Davis, were they innocent the dogs? Do they have a collar on them? <laughs> so I thought they were his, man. No, Davis. Mine are right here, bro. Mine are right here. All three of them. There's so many dogs. That's because his dogs teleported. They weren't sitting down, Davis. Oh, that's so cringe. Yeah, I guess I guess dog, Davis man. does kind of deserve this for the <laughs> the war crimes that he committed, but. <laughs> So on day 37, we all kind of gathered around the enchantment table because we finally got it maxed out. And my friends have been getting a lot of XP for a while, but I'm kind of lacking. But now it's a good thing that we have level 30 enchants. I think I'm going to try enchanting a little bit more. So I got my diamond pickaxe that Prov actually gifted me those three diamonds for. And uh, I don't, I can't get that on breaking two. I'm just going to get this on breaking two, whatever. All right, yeah, I should definitely go and grind some levels. So I also spent a bit of day 38 grinding these levels as well, trying to get to level 30. And when I came back and finally reached the 30 levels, I put my diamond pickaxe in and it said on breaking 3. And when I clicked it, we got efficiency 4 on breaking 3 and silk touch. What a perfect set of enchants for my first pickaxe. That's gonna be crazy. We're eventually gonna need a non silk touch pickaxe, but this thing should do for now. And I kind of forgot about this villager guy, but I checked back in on him on day 39. And I set up this mini like fletching setup here. And we do have discounted trades. So that's really sick. I'm going to start using this guy a lot. And hopefully this can give us a little boost in early game emerald making. And I kind of did it like this. So hopefully, I, I think mobs can't get him like that. Because there's like a one block gap. So Davis over here actually had a really good idea of making a elevator. Which is just a one by one block drop that goes straight down to the bottom of the earth. That way we can get down to like diamond level and all the new caves and all that stuff really fast. Yeah, so I think this is just gonna be a good spot for like the elevator. We can like decorate it and stuff later if we want to make it look nice, but I think for now, no, this is a good idea though, for real. Because then we can get like, down to like negative 59 like really fast and then we can like find all the new stuff with like I the new caves like, and all that crazy make it stuff. Bigger, you know? Get like a sky base with like glass. They just got good ideas for real, bro. They just got good ideas. Yeah, actually, no, we should actually make that though. Sounds like a fun project. So on day 40, I think I'm going to start working on our storage system because we've been through 40 days in this world and we still do not have storage. We just have a bunch of chests in random places. And well, this might take a while, but I'm probably going to do like part of it. I'm probably not going to move it all right now because I'm kind of lazy, but this is what it's looking like right now. I think it looks pretty nice. Good way to store most of our blocks and I like using item frames. I might have to remove them out for signs later though because I think they count as entities and can end up lagging the world. Just a tip for anyone who wants to use item frames. I'm coming down, Davis. Okay. Jesus, this thing goes down so far. Is this bedrock? Oh my goodness, yeah. bro. That's crazy, bro. I need to find a cave down here. I can't just dig in a straight. Wait, are you guys gonna make uh, all like the caves that we pass through like glass borders? One iron, yeah. iron yeah. shovel. Dirt. Hey, that's gonna be sick. Cause when you go down, you'll look around, you'll see all the caves and stuff out of the glass. I mine for a bit and I came across diamonds pretty early on. I was thinking about saving it for fortune later since I had silk touch, but I decided I, I, it's fine. Honestly, I'm just gonna take these three. It's gonna be okay. Hopefully later on, finding diamonds shouldn't be too difficult. I kept on digging straight and I came across a big cave that was seemingly looted before. 
as there were some torches behind me. But it was a good start. I think I was going to keep on digging out really far to find more caves, but geez, there are a lot of mobs down here. I need to get back inside of my tunnel, man. This stuff can be really dangerous. And I also came across one of these amethyst geodes, which are pretty cool. I haven't been able to see a lot of these since I think they're kind of rare. But I stayed here and collected like a stack of this block because this stuff looks amazing for builds. I'm not sure what these amethyst shards do either, but I'm going to get some of these too. And after a bit more mining, I even came across another patch of diamonds and this was also another three vein. Kind of unlucky, but I think this is alright. Now we got six diamonds in total. I think that's pretty decent. We should probably look toward getting two villagers soon so we can start breeding them and making all the different types of them. I think next up the villager that does that one like glass pane trick is probably better because we do have a desert right next to us. I also began working more on the downstairs area because we haven't done this in a while and I think we should make this thing a lot bigger and hopefully give me more ideas of what to add on and what to build down here because I think this could be used as a really cool space. So a little update here, I think I'm going to make this section dip down that's kind of by the nether portal because we are pretty close to the surface. Like if we dig one block up, I'm pretty sure we hit the surface. Yeah, it's kind of coming together, I guess. And I also changed the flooring of the first section when you come in just to give it a little bit more spark and flavor, you know. I also did a bit of like tidying up work, including finishing up the ceiling. And I know that it's kind of like going out onto the surface a little bit, as you can see here. But I'm probably going to end up covering it up with like a mountain or some sort of like natural formation. And after a bunch of that construction, I decided to go out on the night of 46 and search for another zombie villager, but I was ultimately unsuccessful in my goal. I was not able to find one this night. Day 47 was actually quite simple. I didn't really do much except for just continue building the house area, this time focusing on the roof. I started closing off the ceiling here because I thought it was a bit too high, and maybe I can turn it into like an attic of some sort. Now here's a little update for you guys. So on the inside we got all the ceilings looking pretty nice, looking pretty fancy. Most importantly we got this attic thing right here. If you stand on the chest and go up, you can see there's kind of like a not so hidden attic. Nice little windows, a little bit squished but it's okay. And there's also a chest with emeralds at the very end, greeting the first person to find that. I think it's a pretty cool addition, maybe I can just add some extra storage up there. And on that night of day 47, I did go out and look for a zombie villager again and this time I was successful finding one except he was a bit further away from my house. It was kind of a hard journey to walk all the way back, dodging all the mobs. He did make it back here safely though into the little pit I dug for him. It was a close call though because I was at 3.5 hearts. So I grabbed my weakness potion and a golden apple and then I threw all that stuff onto him. Now this is going to be a great start into our villager trading journey. I made a cartographer table and I placed it down in front of him, changing our new villager into a cartographer. Now his first trade is going to be paper, we can do that really easily. There we go, now that I leveled him up he should give us glass panes. Let's go, only 5 glass panes for 1 emerald, that is crazy cheap and we also have access to the ocean explorer map so you can go to see monuments pretty soon. I mean you're kinda close, cause this is the last, this is the last stretch yeah. of like, Bro, should cave. I put like doors, like at the, like, Oh wait, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. You could put like uh, oh wait actually, it won't work because if you're gonna have kelp here, I just go too fast. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I'm not, I don't know, I think it might not work though. I can just do it later. Dude, I want to jump off. I feel like I have an elytra, but it's sad, bro. We need it. We need it. Yo! Hey, that's toxic, bro, man. He's taking too long, man. So after that little incident, I just went back up and went to our new villager over here. And I'm going to start connecting these guys' houses so then I can make like a bigger room for them. We're eventually going to make like a full fledged out villager training center. But right now, we're just going to have like a really crude layout. Just so we can start letting the villagers breed and kind of build a population. Now it's nighttime. Here's what it's looking like. I'm just going to make the roof a little bit bigger right here. This is definitely going to work. I'll come back and give them more food so they can actually breed. Bro, Prav is officially the farmer of this SMP, dude. Man's always taking exactly, care of the animals, dude. Man. We have so many chickens now, bro. That's crazy. Chickens? Well, guys, how do you feel? We've made it to 50 days. We're halfway there. Not gonna lie, I'm mad tired, bro. I'm tired. <laughs> Working real hard, you know? Grinding day in, day out, you know? Straight days, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> My back's hurting, you know? My back is breaking, you know? Well, we are only at iron armor still, and we're on day 50, we're halfway to 100, and most people probably be killing the ender dragon by now, you know? So we're kind of behind, but that does mean next episode we're going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff and hopefully getting full diamond armor for all of us so we can fight the ender dragon. Y'all need to get your money up, I'm not broke like y'all. Alright guys, and that is going to conclude it for this episode. Like we said earlier, we are officially halfway there. Which means in the next episode, we're going to start getting a lot more progression done, including killing the Ender Dragon, most likely, and getting full diamond armor. So yeah, I think we made a lot of good progress in the episode. We set up the villagers, a good base to get started with our capitalism, and we also expanded on a lot of builds. Also, we're going to bring back the comment shoutout. To enter, simply just comment down the favorite part of your video, and you might be selected to appear in the next episode. Well, that is going to wrap it up today, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.